Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on rotation. Rotation is one of our four transformations. Remember, a transformation is a process which can change the position and or size of a shape. In mathematics we have four transformations. We have rotation, enlargement, remember not to be fooled by the word large, it can sometimes make the shape smaller. We also have reflection and we have translation. Today we'll be looking at rotation. So what is rotation? Well, rotation is the circular motion of an object around a center or an axis or a fixed point. It will change the orientation and position, but it will not change the size. When we rotate, we need three pieces of information. We need the degrees, 90, 180 or 270. We need the direction, clockwise or anticlockwise, and we need the center of rotation. This is the point at which we rotate. So now we know the basics of rotation and we know the three key elements associated with rotation. So let's look at the center of rotation. So why is it so important? Well, if we look at these two shapes, which are congruent or identical, we will be rotating 180 degrees, a half turn, about point X in a clockwise direction. But look at the completely different positions or path each shape takes. This emphasizes how the center of enlargement can change the position of a shape even when we're given the same degrees and the same direction. So the center of enlargement is very important. In this tutorial we'll be using tracing paper when rotating. So remember to request it in the exam. So let's start rotating. Question 1 asks us to rotate triangle A 90 degrees about the center zero. Now the center zero is the origin, coordinate zero, zero. So first, let's get our tracing paper and we simply trace the center of enlargement and our shape. From here, we put our pen point on the center of enlargement. We simply rotate our tracing paper 90 degrees clockwise. A nice little trick to help us rotate correctly is to draw a little cross on any vertex. Then simply rotate and you can see how it tells you when you've rotated 90 degrees clockwise. Simply rub out the cross. Then we press really hard to transfer the image onto our paper or you can remember the coordinates of our vertices. Lifting up our tracing paper, you can see where our answer finally lies. So now let's have a look at question two. Question two wants us to rotate shape S 90 degrees clockwise with the center five four, labeling our new image T. See if you can give it a go and press pause if you need. Firstly, let's place our tracing paper on our question. Then we draw our center of enlargement on our shape S. Then we simply put our pen point or pencil point at the center of enlargement. Then like the question asks, we rotate our tracing paper 90 degrees. You can see it was 90 degrees from the original question. Using our little trick again, let's draw a little cross at any vertex and rotate. This makes it really obvious when we rotate it 90 degrees clockwise, then rubbing out the cross. Then we simply transfer our image onto our piece of paper by pressing down really hard or remembering the coordinates of the vertices. Then removing our tracing paper, don't forget to label the image T. So now let's have a look at another question. Here the question wants us to rotate shape A 180 degrees about the point zero zero. See if you can give it a go and press pause if you need. Just like before, let's get our tracing paper and trace our object and image. From here, we simply put our pen point at the center of enlargement, 
and we rotate our tracing paper 180 degrees. In this question, you don't really need to draw the little cross, as the orientation is clearly showing it's facing the other way, so we know it's a 180 degree rotation. Then we press down really hard, or you can remember the coordinates of the vertices. Then removing our tracing paper, our answer is clearly laid down on our coordinate graph. Now let's look at describing. Here the question wants us to describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle P onto triangle Q. Remember, if it's rotation, we always must state the degrees, direction and the centre of rotation. Getting our tracing paper ready. Firstly, let's have a look at the degrees. Tracing triangle P to make the same orientation as triangle Q it's clear it must be a 90 degree rotation. We can also see that it's 90 degrees anti-clockwise. So we have two pieces of information so far. So let's find the center of enlargement. Using our tracing paper, let's trace shape P. And let's pick this point as our center of enlargement. Now we're going to rotate 90 degrees anti-clockwise to see if it arrives at position Q. Clearly, this is the incorrect center of enlargement. So let's try again. Here we have triangle P and a new position as our center of enlargement. Rotating 90 degrees anti-clockwise, you can still see we do not have the correct position as Q. So let's try again. Looking at our triangle P, Let's pick this point as our center of enlargement. Rotating 90 degrees anti-clockwise, we've arrived at triangle Q. So we know the single transformation is rotation, the angle is 90 degrees, and the direction is anti-clockwise. And the center of enlargement is zero minus one. An alternative answer would be rotation as our single transformation, 270 degrees clockwise with our center of enlargement of 0 minus 1. So in summary, we've gone through two different types of rotation questions. One requiring us to draw the new image given degrees, direction and center of rotation. And the second asking us to describe the transformation. So that means we need to make sure we write our degrees, direction and center of rotation. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.